Hi, I'm Lauren Zemke, Director of Professional Services at A1. I'm going to show you how Extender is a Dexterity developer's best friend. We're going to create an Extender window that is attached to the Microsoft Project Maintenance window to store some additional project information. We'll call our window Project Info. Select our product. Browse to our project maintenance window. And add our additional fields that we want to store within the project maintenance window. We'll create our own custom project type list to store additional project types that we have at E1. We'll store estimated hours. store actual hours and then store a status of whether the project has been approved or not. I can add additional actions at this point but we're just going to test out our window and we can see how quickly we're able to actually test this particular window. We need to add a key field to link project information. So we'll do a search for the PA project number field because that is going to be our key that we are going to store our extender data to our project maintenance table. Once we do that we will save. Um, we will get a message about creating an a Smart Connect view. If you have Smart Connect loaded, we will talk about that a little bit later. So I'm going to click No for that. And we can go to Cards, Project, Project Maintenance, and pull up a project. I can click the additional menu and instantly see that I can pull up my new project information window. So in a few short minutes, I've been able to actually create a window to store additional information against a project um, without having to go through a complete compile or deployment of a dexterity form. I can test this form immediately and make sure it actually works. So we'll choose extender, we'll enter in some estimated hours, some actual hours, click save. I can browse to a new project, click additional project information, see that that information, we don't have anything there. Go back to our original project and actually see that the information was saved for this project. So again, I didn't have to create a custom table I didn't have to make sure that that table was created or make sure that that form was deployed or provide security for this form. If I didn't need to, it was immediately available to my user just by creating that form in Extender. So now we'll show some additional things that we can do with this, ex with this Extender window. We'll go back into Extender open up our form. So one thing most um, projects require with a entry form is the ability to view that information during inquiry and not just during data entry. So I have this inquiry button where I can now choose to add an additional um, inquiry window. So this will be my project 
info inquiry. I'll choose the same prog uh, same product in the same series. And you can see that all the forms and windows are exactly like you would see with inside of Dexterity. So I want my project maintenance my project inquiry window. And I'm going to mark this window read only. That means that I'm not able to make any changes to that particular window or data when I am on uh, the project inquiry window. So we'll save that. We'll click OK. Save again. And again, I'm going to say no to creating the Smart Connect view at this point. So I'll go to my inquiry window, choose project, project. Now I can select my ParkNet Sys project. And we see we have the additional menu option. And I can choose Project Info Inquiry. And you'll see that we actually have our project information as read only. I didn't have to write any additional form or any additional process or set up additional security for creating an additional inquiry window just by marking it read only. We have the exact same functionality that we'd have um, without writing any additional code for that inquiry window. So another piece within most dexterity development projects that I've seen is the need for being able to import data. So I've already mentioned before that if you have Smart Connect mm. loaded, when you actually um, are logged in as SA and you save a project, you'll notice we've gotten a message about creating a view. I can create a view for any extender window or set of data that I can use for data imports or for reporting purposes just by coming into the view section of extender, clicking new. I'll give my view the same ID as I have for my window, which is a requirement for Smart Connect. We'll keep the SQL name, and that's the name of the view that will be created in SQL. We'll add our extender window ID. Click Add. We'll see the additional fields that we have assigned. Mark All. And once I click Save, it will actually create a view inside of SQL Server that we can use for any reporting that we would want to do, such as SSRS reports or data imports, it actually will create an updatable view that you can write data to. If you, uh, instead of writing directly to extender tables, you can actually do write update statements against this view to update the data in this particular instance. So we will save that. And I'm going to open up Smart Connect. And I've already created a map called Project Create. And with that, we actually have a, uh, a map where we'll just go ahead and create some project information. But at the same time I'm creating that project information, I've added the node extender window add update and all of the extender procedures to do inserts and updates to extender data is available inside of Smart Connect. So I've just added that node to my project accounting group inside of Smart Connect. So when I double click on that, we'll see we've got, we can name our window, we have our key, and then our values that we want to send. So I'll click OK, run this particular map, and we see that we were successful. And we created a new project called E1. So I will go to Cards Project, click on our lookup, and we now see that we have a project called E1. So we were able to create that project. 
And with that, we were actually able to, we're actually able to see the data that we have assigned um, through Smart Connect. We created the project, set the project type of extender, and the estimated hours to 10. So we didn't have, we can do imports for extender at the same time we're actually doing Dynamics GP imports. So we'll go ahead and save that. Now as a dexterity developer, you're saying, well, I want to be able to actually write dexterity code. And that can still be done. You don't have to worry about um, not being able to actually have to write any code. We can still go ahead and write code. A lot of what we've done is just the internal plumbing of creating windows, um, creating tables. You don't have to do that anymore. You can now focus on actually spending time writing business logic. So I'll click on the Actions button. Click on Add for Events. And we can see we have many different event types that we would actually have even inside of a dexterity form or process. So what I'm going to do is actually on the save record, I'm going to add a Dynamics GP script. So we are going to add a script to update approved status. And I've just pasted in my dexterity script. My pro project accounting is my product, so that it actually able to is able to find the tables. But you see, it's just standard dexterity script. We, there are values on the right hand side that allow you to go ahead and choose based on the product that you're working in. Um, for so you don't have to remember all the names of the tables or script commands. All of those are available to drag and draw or double click and put into the scripting window. I can validate my script. It says the script is valid. What I'm doing actually is setting the PA, the approver ID of the timesheet, um, any timesheets for this, for this particular project to one and then setting the type to, to a value of one for my purposes. So we'll save that particular script. So now when I save the script, it's actually going to set the timesheet historical records for our project that we choose to, um, to say that they are approved. And we're going to choose ParkNet Sys again. So you won't see anything actually happen on the window, but that dexterity script, when I save it, I'm going to actually mark it as approved. We'll go ahead and click Save. So we'll open up SQL Query Analyzer, and you can see that um, with the particular project I had chosen, the ParkNet Sys project, that we actually have the prover ID set to SA versus uh, a blank value show that that update actually happened. Now the nice thing about Extender is if I don't like what actually was my code or if I need to um, make some changes I can go ahead and open up my window and maybe I want to change this to be Lauren. I can do a quick validate, save, I can leave that window open. So at this point, my script hat trigger has been saved. Uh, we'll open up our project. Resave our changes. We will execute. And we now see that the prover ID has changed. So I do not have to recompile or redeploy, exit Dynamics GP, I can make my change basically on the fly and retest. So the last piece of that I would like to show you when it comes to Dexterity's best friend is the next part is for reporting purposes. You'll notice in Extender when I had opened our, our project information, 
advance my view. On the inquiry window, you'll see that we have smart list integration. I go ahead and click add and I can choose either a uh, Dynamics GP smart list or a smart list that I've built with smart list builder. And I already have an object called project hours. And I can tie in my project hours smart list, my key field to my key field inside of my extender window. Go ahead and click save. I've now linked my smart list um, object to my extender object and be able to view that piece of my extender information inside of my smart list. So without having to code any additional smart list information or do anything additional with that extender data, I'm able to bring that information inside of um, inside of smart list. So I've shown you how with extender being can be a dexterity developer's best friend. You can improve deployment time without having to have all of the users log out of the system. You can make changes directly inside of Extender. You don't have to worry about creating plumbing for data imports, reporting purposes. You can make your changes on the fly that every user will have access to immediately. You can create your own custom actions. You don't have to worry about creating custom tables and making sure the table layouts are accurate. They're changed immediately when you change them in inside of Extender. You can create views based on Extender data for reporting purposes, smart list, SSRS reports, even Dynamics GP reports.